Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 24 of Let's Play Pokemon Black. Alright, it's been like several days since I recorded the last episode, so now I've got my levels pretty high for what I need them to. Also, I'm taking along Ruff, which is my Drudagons, to get it ready for the Dragon Gym. And of course, haagen will be Pinnacle as well to deal with Dragons too. So why don't we go back to all the routes that I was at earlier, and I never bothered to finish them. Now's a good time to give that a try. Oh, it turns out I left a Max Elixir right here. It's telling me to go up this way for an item? Guess I could. Full Restore. Yeah, I don't think I went this way. This thing is some kind of forest in there. It blends in among the trees and grass, and it shows its strength. See the strength of my Pokémon! No. Huh! Alright, Annie, you only got a Cincino? Alright, I can deal with that. Remember, Drodagon has rough skin, so I don't have to worry about, you know, willing down too much of its health myself. Now this could be faster, so let's use Revenge. There we go, rough skin. Oh, well, definitely put in some work. And it does that for each hit! Boom. Now, I replaced Slash with uh, Revenge. So that's what I had before. Ooh, Night Slash. Ooh. Crunch has power 80 and 100. Night Slash has 70 and 100. But higher crit chance. Ah, uh, that's a tough decision. Maybe get rid of Chip Away? I think we'll get rid of Chip Away and replace it with Night Slash. Again, if I change my mind, I can always just use a Heart Scale. This is what Pokemon love. Here, take some! You know, they also love vitamins. Couldn't you give me that? There is nature, and there are cities. And it's lovely to have the choice. Both people in Pokemon can choose their favorite places. See? At least you're not, like, a bit of a maniac like those Team Plasma freaks. More of Icurus. Okay. Looks like there's more trainers nearby, too. In any case, now that we got strength, we can actually go this way. Wait, did I see an item near there? I think it could be on the other side of this water. There it is. Ooh, another Ultra Ball. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I see, like, something bubbling in the water. I wonder what that is. Could be a Basculin. So let's fight it. Nope, that's a Stunfisk! I think it's a ground type, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna try Crunch, because I think Dragon Claw could do too much. Yeah, Stunfisk is a ground type. And it's a very ugly looking Pokemon, too. Look at it do that grin. There we go, we got a Stunfisk. <laughs> Oh, it's ground and electric. Its skin is very hard, so it is unhurt even if stepped on by sumo wrestlers. It smiles when transmitting electricity. It's a trap Pokemon. Ooh, what would be a good name for it? I'm gonna say EMP. Because, you know, it's like a mine, pretty much. 
It transmits electricity. Yeah, let's go with that. Ooh, Carbos. Oh, I'm right on the item. Max Ether. I bought new boots, so I came all this way to get them dirty. You're right. If I have a battle, they may get even dirtier. Wait. What do you mean I'm right? I didn't say anything. Mariah has a frillish. Alright. Well, it's a good thing I have dark moves on this dragon type. <laughs> frillish will not stand a chance. So I checked the nature on this Pokemon as well. It gives me, like, high speed, but low defense. So, hopefully I don't get hit with too many physical attacks. And again, is my special defense even any better? I'm gonna take a look. So there was no real reason to fight that trainer other than just flex your muscle. Okay, physical defense actually is higher than special defense. So they might get a little even eventually. I remember there was like some significance to this area. I forget if it has anything to do with Keldeo or, you know, like Tornadus, Thundorus, and Landorus. I think it's like one or the other. Now, of course, I don't really have any event items, so don't expect me to get any event Pokemon, like, say, Victini or anything. Like, I remember when I had Pokemon Black for the first time, I did, like, a uh, run with a Victini most of the time. It was a pretty cool Pokemon. Hi. Knowing oneself, knowing the other, and knowing the surroundings. That's a ranger. That could be just about anybody with attentiveness, really. Harry. Oh, you have a vanillish. Hang on, did I take Daria with me or did I leave it in the box? Oh, I left it in the box. Oops. <laughs> well, I guess I'm just gonna have to go for the attack then. Ah, oh, it's faster, too. But all my attacks are physical, so I'm not gonna do much at all. Even if I get a crit. Oh, never mind! <laughs> I guess that just exposed me as a liar. Ah, Fracture! That's the evolved form of Axew. I really like the, uh, Axew line. Like, back then when I had this game... Oh, wow. That was a single blow without a critical. That I pretty much ran with a Haxorus in my main team. Of course, I didn't even find an Axew yet. Even though I could have just waited around in a cave to get one. Or maybe I could have just got one in Mistralton Cave. I guess there's still a lot I don't know. That is true. If you are prepared, you don't have to worry. There's a citrus berry. Are there more trainers by you? I'm researching what kinds of Pokemon live around here. That way I can plan which Pokemon I should take along. You do that. Oh, all that for a max elixir. Okay. So there's nothing else here. And there's more. Oh, I should have got off the water. Shelly, you want to take this one or no? Eh, you know what? Use strength. At least her level is pretty high. So I'll actually have some other Pokemon to use for the Dragon Gym. There you go. Says there's another item nearby. Sure, let's take a look. It's right in the middle of all this. No? Okay, there it is, the nugget. A 
another max revive. Is there a TM here? Because I would very much like to find a TM. Pokemon trainers nurture friendship with their battles. Speaking of TMs, I bet there's a lot I can't get until, like, post-game. Oh, no, no, Shelly, you cannot stay for this. You cannot stay for this. Okay, you know what? Stay one turn. It went for acrobatics, not even an electric move? Okay, now you can stay another turn. This trainer is an idiot. Aqua Tail? Ooh, is that better than Razor Shell? It's in 595. It has less accuracy, but it does hit harder. I say we take a chance with that. Okay, Maractus, you definitely cannot stay for this. So there you go. Also, the good thing about haagen it has a good ability where it can gradually heal during a hailstorm. And over time, I learned hail. So I have a move that works so well with my ability. I like that. Hello, Momola. Uh, Zebra, this is your time to shine. Man, if only you had Thunderbolt. You would have been amazing. But I guess we'll have to settle for Discharge. Yeah, we'll have to settle for, like, a move that takes out a Momomola in a single strike. Yeah. That, just settle for that. <laughs> Please accept this citrus berry as a token of our friendship. We only had like one battle, that's not much of a friendship. Stay still and listen carefully. Here are the sounds of nearby Pokemon. The breath of trees and swamps. I don't know about you, but if trees and swamps are breathing, that's a sign I should get away. Because that's a haunted forest. Just saying. If there are trainers, I just have battles with them. Because they may show me water-type Pokémon I've never seen. But what if they don't have any water-type Pokémon? I mean, I have one with me, and that's the starter. That's it. Alright, masculine time, as usual. <laughs> Yeah. Level 41. A Stunfisk? Oh, good. I have Crunch. That'll work. Alright, let's dance. Yeah, I think Stunfisk, if I remember correctly, also had a Galarian form in Gen 8. I think it was, like, part steel as well. So there we go. I've never seen such a strong trainer. Well, that's because you've been too busy fishing! If you got out once in a while, you would have seen many strong trainers. I might as well just use Revive rather than run to the Pokémon Center. I'm, like, in no mood to just run all the way back there. I don't know if there's, like, many other trainers on this route, or it's on Route 9. Let's look around. Oh, yeah, there was definitely more trainers. He... Oh, yeah, I got Zebra on front. That's what I want. How do I know that real fishermen are so impatient? Because we change places frantically, we cannot catch Pokemon! Sure. We'll believe that. Wait, did I already fight these trainers? Oh, right, I... I need to get... I... That right, she gives me rocks. I forgot about that.
Are there any trainers on the bridge? I think there's like some rowdy trainers that can appear on the weekends. Like a bunch of kids? Well, it's not that time. Okay, here we go. That's where I can see some trainers. Do you want to pass through here? Then you must greet me. Why do I have to greet you? I guess I'll just fight you instead. Rock a rock? Uh, zebra, no. This is not for you. Definitely not for you. <laughs> Oh, it's burrowing underground. I think I might be faster, so I can get away with a focus energy. So I'll take the hit. That's fine. Right, that's Surf! <laughs> oh man, that's a good throwback to Pokemon Stadium. With that announcer and everything. Oh, Scraggy. Who would be best for this again? Archie. Yeah, let's go with Archie. Uh, fly? Yep, fly. That's been a few days since I recorded the last episode. Otherwise, my levels wouldn't be as high as they were. <laughs> it, it takes a long time, all things considered. You! What great strength you have! I mean, yes, I could be facing Adinos all the time. If they show up! Oh, two on one? Hey, what have we got here, boys? You have good Pokemon. Let me see. Hey, a bad one teamed up with another bad one. You know what it means? It means we're very bad. Well, I guess two on two, rather. <laughs> Bunch of hooligans, and they have two scraggies. Alright, you're dealing with the quadruped team now. Discharge is definitely out of question. So let's just focus on one scraggy at a time. I think that would be better. Oh, we got a critical! Good. Good, 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 good. Now it's Aqua Tail's time to shine. Also a one-shot. Good Pokemon. To be honest, they were dazzling. What? I'll get Batman like us lose. Simple. I had a better team. Heh. <laughs> Nobody can beat my speed and fury. Are you sure about that? Somehow I would like to test that theory. You have a Pawniard. Pawniard is dark and steel. And I did catch one on this route, by the way. Oh, wait, I should have used Flame Charge. I'm an idiot. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I mean, Discharge is powerful. I have lost. I am such a loser. Yeah, just like that Heartbreaker, Charles. <laughs> Wait a minute. Lemonade! Just on the ground! Sure, I'll drink it. I don't have any standards anymore. Okay, that's the way through the grass. Is my repel still active? I think it is. It's not active. Ew! A Garboder! Alright, you can find him on this route. I mean, you can catch it, or just evolve your Trubbish. It's your choice. Oh, it's using Stockpile. So it's either going to eat it or spit it out. Eh, I guess I'll do neither. It will just choke. 
get a, another super, not a super potion, super repel. I need to buy more of those now. What the hell? There's a black belt just blocking a cave entrance somewhere. I should go talk to him. Hold on, is this the place I'm thinking is? Like, is Abundant Shrine? Is that the place? Or Challenger's Cave? Only strong Pokemon live in this cave. The champion occasionally goes in for training, but you aren't ready for this challenge. You don't know that! How dare you judge me? Anyway, I think that's all the trainers I can deal with right now. So I guess I'm ready for the gym? Actually, before we go... I think there's a TM that I missed getting. So let me go get that now. Also, later on, I should probably get some more Ultra Balls. Mm, I don't have much money, though. Actually, I think the old guy that takes my, uh... My... Precious rocks? Yeah, I think that's over in Akiris. Oh, wait a minute, this is not the right place. It's near the Pokemon Center, actually. I think you can only get this after the sixth gym. Wow, a jet badge! You won against Skyla! Okay, I'll tell you something cool. We left our treasure at the edge of the runway. The edge of the runway? Which edge? Probably over here? Oh, there it is. Aerial Ace. Okay, it looks like it only shows up if you talk to that boy. Oh! You found our treasure! Found it! Just kidding. We don't have a Pokemon, so we plan to hide this TM until we got one. But that would be a waste. So here, you can use it. We'll get another one from Skyla. You can use it! See you! Bye-bye! What a bunch of weird kids. Hold on. Should I actually go ahead and do this? What I'm thinking is, I should probably go to Pinwheel Forest and go take on one of the legendary Pokemon. I just wonder if I can do that now. Let me go take a look. Because there is one over in Pinwheel Forest, another in Mistralton Cave, and another one, which is of a trio, by the way, doesn't show up until later. So why don't we head over that way now? What kind of Pokeballs can I get here again? Uh, not the ones I want. I think all that matters is I have at least like one Quick Ball and a bunch of Ultra Balls. Wait, why did I go to the Pokemon Center? There was like a nurse over here. I forgot about that. Let's see if that old man's in the way, still. He's gone! Okay, that works for me! Oh wait, this is the thick grass. I don't think I'm gonna have fights there. If I can help it. Okay, the path around this part of the forest is pretty different. Oh. A rare candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> I can surf on this. So what what's on the other side of this bridge? I know this is not the way to that Pokemon. But I might as well explore. And pick up a silver powder. That powers up bug type attacks. That's pretty cool to find. So I think I have to go farther to the right. 
Let's go and do that now. No, but I think that just leads to an item over here. There's a Swad Loon. It's only level 23. I can just evolve my Sawaddle if I want one of those. And that's Sunstone. Speaking of that, I think I should evolve my Cottony because it learned Energy Ball when I leveled. And there's Solar Beam! Alright, that's pretty cool to find. Actually, I think I'm supposed to go this way. I get a Hyper Potion. Wait, it's walled off. I can't do this yet? That is weird. Also, what's the deal, yo, with this spot? Maybe I can't do this until, like, after beating the Pokemon League. Alright, well, I guess we'll just leave for now. Can't dig? Alright, I guess I'll fly instead. Maybe all that's left to do is just go back to Opelucid City for now. And I guess while I'm here, I'll just buy some Super Repels. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Alright, I'm ready for the 8th gym. I should be. Hello. Our hopes are put into this melody. I will send them to the future. Sure, you, you do that. Maybe I'll just explore the town instead and go to the gym in the next episode. 63, 64... Oh, I was counting all the kinds of props for musicals! I think there are about 100 different kinds. so oh, I don't care. If you have a lot of props, it makes you want to put them on Pokémon. If you put pro props on Pokémon, it makes you want to participate in a musical. Don't you agree? And... it's up to you. Know what? I'm a huge musical fan! Oh, you have a prop case! You must be a huge musical fan too! Would you like a new prop to use in the musical? I am so glad! You are also a huge musical fan! You should try putting various props on your Pokémon! That would be fun! The gift box... You know what? I'm a huge musical fan! If you come see me again tomorrow, I'll give you a different prop! Oh... Okay... That's cool, I guess. It's just between you and me, okay? I used to be part of Team Plasma. But it's strange when everyone around you thinks the same way, isn't it? So I left Team Plasma to think for myself of what I want to do. Don't tell this story to the guy on the opposite side. Why not? It's just between you and me, okay? I'm really not good as a trainer. So I think Team Plasma might have the right idea when they take Pokemon away from weak trainers. I do feel sorry for the people who are robbed, though. Don't tell this story to the guy on the opposite side. Whoa, okay. See, that makes you a bit of a jerk, because I'm like, I'm okay giving up my Pokemon, and I'm also okay with other people being forced to give up their Pokemon. Like, don't speak for other people. No way! Without Pokemon, I'll be too lonely and sad! But am I only using Pokemon, then? Maybe. The legendary Pokemon is the symbol of Unova. Does that mean Team Plasma is right? I don't know. God, this is such a weird looking town, but I like it. The Battle House, where you can have a rotation battle, is next door. Oh, really? Whether or not you are troubled by the Pokemon you move attract, take this. A Destiny Knot. When a Pokémon holding the Destiny Knot is affected by a move Attract, the opponent will also fall in love. It's a bit difficult to use, but I hope it will be useful. That might come in handy if you're going against somebody that likes to use Attract a lot. It doesn't matter if we win or lose, as long as we have Pokémon with us. You need to have 8 Gym Badges to challenge the Pokémon League. However, even with such skills, 
it's hard to defeat the Elite Four who are waiting. And not just that, like getting on the way through Victory Road, likely facing a lot of trainers and everything. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> you know what, I'll try a rotation battle. Welcome! Glad to see you here at the Rotation Battle House! As the name suggests, this is the place to enjoy rotation battles! No. I... I know how it works from Charles. Uh, Ruff, you wanna... Join in on this? I'm thinking Crunch, Shelly, and Ruff. Or maybe I should use haagen instead. The flow of a game changes every turn in a rotation battle. Can you master it? I'll give it a try. <laughs> Alright, Eileen has Simi Sage, Simi Seer, and Simi Poor. I'm seeing a theme here. Okay, something tells me that you're going to attack me with a grass move. So we're not going to allow that. Ooh, but what do I want to attack with? If it switches to semi poor, Ice Beam is not going to be effective. So I shouldn't switch to an Ice type. I think we're going to go with Rough using Dragon Claw. Seed Bomb? Well, that's not very good. Maybe I could have gotten away with Revenge. You know what? I could. I'm a bit slow, so... Yeah, let's go with Revenge. It's not Stab, but it'll do a nice bit of damage. Okay, Revenge will actually do less damage now, because I didn't get hit. Is it based on, like, if you got hit first? Or is it based on if you take in, like... Less HP on. Maybe the less HP I have, the better revenge gets. I wonder if that's how it works. Anyway, Simi Sage is down. <sighs> you sure you want to try this? Scald. Oh, I'm burned. That's not what I needed. Hmm. Let's think about this for a second. I don't know if it'll go for a fire move, though. I say we just go for foul foul play or bulldoze. Yeah, let's go with bulldoze. Big mistake, Buster. There, you played yourself. Now I just hope that I'm faster. Then get down with a bulldoze. Or a foul play. Yep, I'm faster. Boom! It's over. Ooh, 44. Good job. It made my head spin and I feel dizzy. Why would you have battles that you're, like, physiologically not prepared for? Which Pokemon you use? Yes! Preparation before a battle is very important for rotation battles. Now let's start. Oh no. How could I have not known this would also be a battle? Mianfu, LGM, and Ponyard. Okay, these are quite different types. I think I could get away with dig, could I? Yes, I can. It'll do a lot of damage to Ponyard if it sticks, and it's not gonna stick. 
My only concern is Mianfu could hit me with a fighting move that hurts. Actually, I think Crunch should take the whole fight. So I'm good against Steel. And that's a Psychic type, so it can't really hit me. This should be pretty easy. And I got Moxie attached. Okay, that one was a little too easy compared to the first one. Wow. That was pathetic. Thanks for the money, though. I greatly appreciate it. But now I need to heal because I got that nasty burn on Ruff. Hey! That person called N had the legendary Pokemon with him. So he has to be the legendary hero, right? He's gonna change the world, isn't he? Not if I can help it. If all Pokemon are released, trainers and gym leaders will no longer exist. For better or worse, the world would surely change. Yeah, I certainly don't want that. I spent so many happy days training my Pokemon as we grew stronger together. If it will make my beloved Pokemon a perfect being, however, I can't help but let it go. I can't have that. There is something ahead, and the road is closed now. Well, what is that something? <sighs> Fine. I guess we're not going that way. Well, I guess what we'll do is heal up. <laughs> so you know what? I say in the next episode, we should be ready for the gym. So yeah, let's stop the video here. Well, let me save first. 105 Pokemon, that's not bad. Alright, next episode, we're heading to the Opelucid City Gym. See everyone, thank you so much for watching.